in this class we would do a introduction to the law of torts another very important part of our legal reasoning uh, uh, legal reasoning chapters which are included in our clat exam is the law of torts now you would want to know what what is exactly law of tort have you must have never heard the word tort so i would tell you where this word has been derived from it is basically a latin word which means tortum which means a twisted conduct something which is not done properly something in simple terms in a english word i would say that something that is wrong something that is not done in its proper nature the way it was supposedly to be done so basically a tort is a conduct that is not proper and is crooked and twisted so something which is not straight but a little crooked or twisted the remedy for tort lies in the civil law now if any kind of tort has taken place where do i go i go to the civil court i cannot approach the criminal court because it is not a crime it is a it is it is a civil wrong which is done to the to, from one person to another person and so i would approach to the civil law torts in everyday life tort can be defined as a civil wrong arising when one individual breaches a legal duty which he owes to another individual all the individuals or um uh, each individual owes a a uh, uh, legal duty to the other individual so uh, tort can be defined as a civil wrong where one person is liable to another person to perform a legal duty but he is not doing it and so it would give it will arise to a tort claims in tort law are awarded uh, unliquidated damages and are separate from claims in contract law so what happens when a tort law is taken place i go to the civil court and what will the civil court do how will i be uh, how will i be satisfied what what damages would be given to me and how will they be uncertain so the law uh, the damages uh, which we deal in tort law are unliquidated damages now again you would want to know what is unliquidated damages so unliquidated damages are monetary compensation which are not predetermined all right when i get into a uh, in simple terms when i get into a contract on an agreement i say uh, if you uh, you have to paint my house within 15 days if you do not do so then i will uh, i will deduct 5000 rupees from your uh, uh, from your uh, uh, the, the the money i have to the lump sum money which i have to pay to you if you take more than 15 days i will deduct 5000 rupees from your uh, uh, actual money which i have to pay to you so what are, what is this damage this is a liquidated damage because it is pre decided is is pre a uh, previously asserted that if a wrong is done 5000 rupees would be deducted but what happens in case of unliquidated damages nobody knows what wrong will take place and when will the wrong take place and so the, the tort is, the the damage is not predetermined by the parties but are decided by the judge in the court of law and then whom do we approach we go to the court we go to the civil court the judge will take uh, the scenario of the whole situation will ascertain what kind of a wrong has taken place and in knowing these facts the judge would be able to decide uh, what uh, what uh, compensation or what damages have to be awarded so they are unliquidated damages because no amount of money is fixed in these damages uh let's let's quickly look at an example if you go to your neighbor's house you are expected to ring the bell take his or her permission before you enter his house this this is normal thing everybody follows you cannot go straight into his kitchen and start doing whatever you like you cannot straight bang into his kitchen open his fridge and start eating his vanilla ice cream is this is 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 this how we need to behave in a civilized society no you take his permission before you help yourself with the uh, with the ice cream in the fridge if you do not do this then what happens you have behaved in a manner which is unacceptable and you have breached your duty towards your neighbor and you have committed a tort you it is your legal duty it it is a legal duty between two people it is your legal duty that you need to take the permission of your neighbor before you set a foot inside his 
house before inside his land inside his in, in, in his place okay so this is actually a very simple example of thought which i could give to you and um, uh, as we move further i would give you more examples which will make you even easier to understand the day to day thoughts which take place in our lives now there are some important points which we uh, which we i which i will uh, just uh, tell you first is a thought is a private wrong it is a not it is not a wrong against the society okay because one person owes a legal duty towards the other person so it is between two people it is a private wrong when we say a crime has been committed a crime is against the whole society so we say a crime against a person is a crime against the society but a tort is always tort always takes place between two people so it it is a private wrong second is remedy for tort lies in civil law and not in criminal law so if we have a we have a issue i have a case pertaining to torts i would approach to the civil court and i would not rather go to the criminal court third it involves violation of a legal duty i have told you that everybody living in a society owes legal duty towards each other and if you do not if you do not uh, uh, st uh, stick to your legal duty if you try to violate a le your legal duty you have committed a tort fourth it leads to a liability on the part of the wrong doer the one who has done the wrong will bear the liability fifth the compensation awarded is in liquidated unliquidated in nature as i have already told you that the kind of damages which are awarded are unliquidated they are not decided previously okay so um uh these these are some of the important points which we need to keep in mind when we deal with law of torts